All right, hey, Gemini. So I'm doing a singles read for you guys. And with this singles read, the intention is a set for new love. And, and only in a couple of reads out of all of them so far has a past person shown up. So if, if, you, if you see a past person coming through um, because of your own intuition, please, uh, 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 instead of negatively commenting, just uh, uh, watch your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome to the channel, guys. I do hope that you'll stick around with me. This is not the only type of reading that I do. Um, on the uh, community tab, I posted today my website with a link, and it's going to show all the different reads that I do on my website in case you're interested. Um, and with that, I'm just pulling a couple of uh, chakra cards to see where you could use some clearing and balance. And you're coming through with a whole uh, clearing. So on YouTube, uh, on Teos Win, they do like a seven minute tune up. I think it's on Teos, Teos, Teos. Um, this is calling for like a, a complete chakra balance. Embrace the balance between earth and spirit using a clear quartz, rose quartz and hematite. All right, so maybe a quick chakra tune-up, and you can YouTube, Google, or YouTube search uh, quick uh, chakra balance, um, especially for those of you who feel that you are pretty in a, pretty much in alignment. Um, third eye chakra coming through with uh, Labradorite. Paying attention to the dreams. Dreams are where your mind translates the divine. So you guys could be dreaming, um, ideas coming into play. All right, so pay attention to your dreams chakra balance uh clearing that third eye too okay all the cards have been pre-shuffled so let's just get your energy the energy gemini is in right now so here is what i'm gonna say all right <clears throat> I don't feel like this is negative energy. Here's what I'm going to say. I feel like you actually probably have a lot of uh, opportunities, a lot of um, uh, you, a lot of uh, um, options. Okay, so people could just be flocking to you, and you could just be in this energy where nobody's really kind of floating your boat, right? So um, I don't feel like you're carrying a lot of burdens and weight right now. It's just like you know, you know the one that's for you. You know the one that you want to come in and enter into your life. The Ten of Wands tells me that you're just kind of done playing um, like with uh, fantasy, all right? I just see fantasy in here. And even though there, there could be a lot of people flocking to you, you know that they're not the person for you. It's kind of like you're just moving forward because you know what you're calling in. And what you're calling in is serious. And it could be too that these energies that are coming towards you are just like really, really 3D. Um. And even if you're somebody that's used to having a lot of um, options um, open to you when it comes to uh, who it is your heart desires, opposite sex, same sex, whatever, um, it's like this energy is not doing anymore. It's not doing anything for you. So you're moving past it. All right. You, you're, you're done. So your past love life, your past love life. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. You've been single for a, a long time. Or let me say this, um, and I don't have any, uh, I don't feel, I don't think I have any Gemini. No, I don't have any Gemini placements in my chart. Um, it, I like to point that out because I don't want you guys to think that I'm turning it into my read. But what I want to say is I feel like me, you guys have been probably more single your adult life and independent, a money maker, a go getter, um, just, and even if you've had your downtimes, you've always been able to pull yourself up out of it. I feel for whoever I'm talking to, you've had more periods of single time than, um, coupled time with judgment card coming through. Um, I feel that, that judgment, it could just be too, that you kind of entertained maybe one or two people of the past and haven't really opened yourself up to embrace the new. Um, and so in between these one or two people, you know, that maybe are kind of like reoccurring, um, it, it's like, I feel like you've spent a lot of time maybe trying to repair or reconcile connections that never actually made it through the victory, the win. Um, and even though you have a lot of options, maybe you've always just gone back to this one or two um, type of same person, not type, but the same person. Um, I really feel like it's 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 time to um, it's time to open those doors, man. 
All right. So the energy you're in now when it comes to love is you're open to receiving. You're you're compassionate. You're very intuitive. You're even tapping into those um, in, in, intuitive and psychic skills. Um, this is somebody who comes with a lot of energy. So no matter what you've been through, I don't feel like it's the darkest um, type of past energy. Um, but you're really just coming into embodying um, compassion, empathy, like you're really tuning into yourself. Uh, um, I'm going to say this single and independent um, is, is no stranger to you. All right. I just feel like you want somebody that's on that same energetic level. Um, just because you're alone does not mean you're lonely, right? So let's see who it is that's coming towards you. For Gemini, who is coming towards Gemini? Who is coming towards you? Oh, you got a soulmate coming through you. You you have a soulmate coming through. A soulmate. Gemini, who is coming towards you? This could likely be a, a Virgo. All right, Virgo first, but Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy and earth sign or somebody that has heavy, heavy earth in their chart with the four of cups. Here's what I'm going to say. This is going to be the one. All right. This is going to be the one. This is not a missed opportunity. This is not. I don't feel like this is going to be somebody from the past. I feel like you're done with the past. OK, what this is, this is going to be the one that the hand of the divine brings to you and guides to you. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the lovers is coming through right here. So who is coming towards you is um, it's going to be your ultimate um, soulmate. It's going to be like your. it's going to be the soulmate for you this lifetime. What is this person like? You, okay, so look at that. They could be a, um, a an earth sign. They could be a water sign. But this person embodies the true, true blue emotions. We have the queen of uh, cups coming in your energy. The king of cups coming in their energy. All right. Um, and this person right here with the two of swords, it could be that they're not seeing you or you don't see them. Not at this moment in time. Um, so I feel like you could know this person, but I don't feel like you have any romantic attachments to this person. Um, let me just ask. I want to see. Uh, no, this is new. This is somebody so new, man. This is like this is like a super secret um, informative mission right here. Death card says that this is going to be somebody you've never dealt with. All right. Um, I do feel like this is going to this is basically going to be somebody um outside of who you typically date all right so this is like a transformation all right and i feel like this person's going to be more a lot more like more alike you more they're going to be more like you than any other person um let's see common interest common interests that come through Oh, you guys are, are going to be awesome at pursuing your dreams, hopes, wishes, and making sure that what you want, what you see, you get. All right. You guys um, are, it's like, I already see that in you, Gemini, but this person has the same um, ambition. Look at that queen of cups coming through. Empathy. Um, you guys could be really intuitive and tuning into those psychic gifts. Um, uh, okay. So I, I, I don't know why this is coming through, but, um, there's a, a, like an energy healing. You guys could be like, um, you know, like Reiki healers, energy healers with humans and, and animals alike. All right. And with the moon card, I just feel like that's going to be something that you guys resonate with. It could be looking at the stars, stargazing, um, or, you know, learning about the star seed origins that I just did. Um, that could all really, really, um, uh, gauge and pique your interest. But this person coming through, this is all like celestial. I feel you guys are going to have some connection with the stars too. Um, it could be too, that if you guys are, um, in, t in tune to your star seed roots, that this person and you, uh, find and figure that you come from the same, the same, um, star seed clan. Um, so your favorable aspects coming through with the two of wands, the favorable aspects of this connection is, um, this is, uh, okay. Here's your spiritual uh, confirmation right here with the hermit card. You guys have had time apart. You have, you have had time being single You've had time being true blue to yourself, self-reflection, releasing and healing. All right. So that's going to be a favorable aspect. Another favorable aspect is the page of swords coming through saying it's here. It's now it's um, a little bit delayed or it's been delayed. 
you're going to feel this person's energy. They're going to feel your energy. And with the two of wands coming through, this is you two walking through the gate. No more this way, left and right, and uh, being um, confused about your path. This is going through the gate together, walking the gate together, and then building um, that empire together. All right. So what is your advice to call this connection in? This is 30 days. Next 30 days. So your advice... Gemini is is just being aware. All right, stay you okay, just know your advice is it's here. So just if you guys are like oh, when's it coming, you know, and you're I don't feel like you're dead set on waiting for that. Where when's it happening? When's my turn? I don't feel like that's your energy, but I feel like we do all want to know when our turn is coming. Um and just know your your angels and spirit guides are saying this person's right here. Your empress, your emperor, your divine counterpart is right here, all right? Um, this is going to be wonderful, new, and exciting. So new love coming through in the next 30 days. Um, your soulmate card. Your spiritual awareness is growing, and so too is your sexuality. Sensuality is heightened and has this magical effect on the one you love. A sacred union is reborn, and love is the present moment. And if you guys um, know anything about sexual magic um, manifesting with sex magic, that might be something that you want to incorporate in the next few days. Um, and the way that I, I have, um, God, I'm not trying to be all personal with you guys, but one of the, the ways that I've learned to best work with like sex magic is um, when you're in that moment with yourself, um, just imagining... Um, uh, imagining the this divine light all right that kind of when you get to the certain point of ecstasy um kind of sparking right there at the root chakra and then just kind of slowing it down and then working it up to the sacral and then slowing it down and then working it up to the solar plexus and then slowing it down and then when you get to the peak all right essentially what's going to happen is um, the light, this divine light is going to come through the roots and go through all the way up through your crown chakra and just, you're going to be connecting. All right. In that way. And that's when you hit your peak. Uh, I'm sorry if that sounds like too much information. Um, I just, I'm, I'm so intrigued by the art of manifestation. So maybe somebody needs to hear that. Um, especially when it comes to calling this, this new love in. So you're coming through with Libra cancer another cancer and scorpio um and two guys i posted i don't i think i already said this but i did post a link to my website to show what readings i i offer um pricing information and how to contact me which is going to be through my email address all right so pay attention to the communication method if you guys decide to visit the website um, and for those of you who are specifically interested in more of the manifestation techniques um, that's something i can go on about for days so um, reach out to me if you're comfortable with your sexuality and the amazing amazing magic that can be done all right these are going to be yours or this person's first middle or last s v m we have c d Z, U, and A. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for blessing me by being here. You guys, I love you. Take it easy.